There's one big thing that every streamer of every size wants, and that's making your content better. You want your streams to look nicer, optimize tools that run faster, chatbots to make moderation easier, and of course, more ways to make money. With Stream Elements, we're gonna do all of that. Today we're gonna go over all of our major tools and how to set them up, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to use Stream Elements to make your streams the best that they can be. Let's lift off! Making a great stream can be intimidating, but I promise, just because our logo's a rocket does not mean that it's rocket science. Everything starts with the dashboard. Your journey to great content begins at our website, StreamElements.com. To get started with Stream Elements, all you need is an existing streaming account with one of these four platforms, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or Trovo. You can start the process with the sign up button in the top right corner of the page, or any of the get started big blue buttons across the homepage. Allow the connection and you're good to go. You'll immediately get sent to your dashboard after connecting, but if you want to get back here quickly, just go to StreamElements.com dashboard. If you're here, congrats, you're officially a Stream Elements user. The first thing you'll notice is that big stats screen. If you just started, it'll be empty. But every time you stream, you'll fill this screen up with all kinds of data, including viewership, followers, and revenue updates. Now let's start adding some tools. We're gonna add our tools and services in the order that they pop up on the onboarding section. If you're brand new to Stream Elements, you can easily follow along by clicking continue on this streaming glory startup bar at the top of the dashboard. But we'll also show you where to go in case you no longer see it up here. The first tool we're gonna talk about today is the one that started it all for us, the chatbot. Whether it's automatically sharing your information, protecting your stream from spam, or adding fun new games and engagement tools to your stream, our chatbot does it all. From the setup wizard, all you have to do to add our bot is click continue on step one. You can also fire up the bot for the first time from your main dashboard on the right in bot settings. You'll see a sad Bible thump icon over here if you haven't set a bot up yet, so click join channel and turn that frown upside down. Once joined, you should see a message in chat confirming that the Stream Elements bot is good to go. You should now see a moderator icon next to Stream Elements in your stream chat or in the moderator list drop down menu. The chatbot does a lot for you and we'll cover everything in a future advanced video, but here's a quick look at all of the most important things that you can do in the chatbot menu to optimize your chat. If we go to the chatbot section on the left and then into the submenu chat commands, you can see a list of different commands and what they do. For example, if I use account age, the bot will then immediately respond in chat by telling you how old your account is. I just made this account for the tutorial, so it's still pretty young. With these sliders on the left, you can toggle commands on and off. A lot of these are on by default, but if you're not ready to use all of these commands here, you can turn off ones that you don't need until you do. Popular beginner commands are ones that instantly give your viewers more information, such as uptime, which lets your users know how long the stream has been going, or follow age, which shows how long someone's been following you. With each command that you decide to run, you can click on it to expand and customize it. Here you can change a ton of things, such as the name of your command, which users can summon the bot by saying the command, more than one word or phrase that can trigger the same command, how many seconds a user has to wait to call that same command again, and how long every user needs to wait before a command can go off a second time in a row. If you feel like your chat bond is spamming your chat with the same command a little too much, feel free to increase these numbers to give it a longer cooldown. You can also create custom commands by clicking this menu next to your default commands. These work just like the default ones, but now you're in control of the messages that you want to share. For example, let's say I want an easy way to share a link to my Twitter account in chat. We'll call the command exclamation mark Twitter and add a message telling my users to follow us in the response field. We'll cover this more in an advanced video, but if you want to go even deeper, you can use custom variables to create specialized command responses. You can find a full list of custom variables and where to use them here at the top of the commands menu. The final huge feature for a bot that I recommend for starting streamers is the spam filter section. Here you can clean up your chat automatically by limiting all caps messages, hyperlink sharing, excessive emotes or symbols, extremely long messages, and banned words. 
You can click on an individual filter to customize things, like how long you'd like to time out an offending user, or whether or not you want the Stream Elements bot to give a warning in chat about your rules. If you want to be hands-off here while still making changes to your settings, you can also click these shield icons at the top, which will automatically change all your filter settings to be more strict or lenient, depending on what kind of community and chat vibe you prefer for your stream. Our chatbot should give you everything you need in order to create the perfect chat environment for you and your viewers. And if you're making content that people enjoy, why not give them a way to send you tips to support your hard work? Let's get paid. Using our tipping tool could not be any easier. Just type in your PayPal email, connect, and boom, you're good to go. If you're new to our system, don't worry. Stream Elements doesn't take any cut out of tip revenue that you receive from your viewers. The only cuts you'll notice from tips are the standard PayPal transaction fees. Once you're in, we'll generate a link that you can use to send your viewers to a tipping page. Share this link in the description of your streams on any platform. Now, anyone with your link can go to your tipping page with a single click. If you're using a platform with clickable buttons like Twitch, we even have a few ready-to-use banner graphics that you can easily download. Simply go to your panels in Twitch, add an image, add your link, and you've got a one-click solution that helps you get a little extra support from your fans. Now, when you go to the tipping settings menu, you can change a variety of features, such as a custom banner image, preset tipping amounts, minimum tipping amounts, alert message moderation, and a custom thank you message. Now that you've got tipping set up, one of the best ways to encourage your viewers to tip is by adding a nice visual or sound alert that goes off every time they support you. Here's how to get easy cloud-based alerts set up on your streams. Stream Elements has a ton of ways to quickly add lightweight visual alerts to any stream. If you're just interested in adding alerts to your existing stream layout, head to the Streaming Tools section, then the Overlays Gallery, and finally click the Alerts tab. Here you'll find dozens of different static and animated alert animations pre-made and ready to go. You can click on an individual name to see a preview animation for what the alert looks like and what its variations are. These alerts range from themes based on holidays, based on specific games, or ones that work with any kind of stream. I like these blue Metropolis alerts, so we'll use these for today's example. When you found one that you like, click Create a New Overlay, and then Continue. Give it a new name if you want, and then click Create My Overlay. The following screen will give you a link that you can use to paste within your streaming client as a browser source. If all you need is this URL again, you can grab it by clicking the three dots in the corner of your saved overlay here. The most commonly used free streaming software is OBS Studio, and we'll talk a little bit later about how you can add Stream Elements features to that as well. To add your alert box to your overlay, in OBS, go to your Sources menu, click the plus icon, and add a browser source. Give it a name and continue. Now, just paste the URL that you copied from your overlays, and make sure to give it a width of 1920 and a height of 1080. You can resize this source manually if you need to better fit your streams, but all of our alerts and layouts are designed with the dimensions for HD 1080p in mind. And there you go. Alerts are sent. It might not look like anything right now, but you can test to see how it will look when you're live. While keeping your streaming client open, head back to My Overlays and click Edit on the overlay that you're currently using. This will open our custom overlay editor, where you can make changes to your overlays and alerts in browser, which will then update them in your cloud-based overlay when you click Save. To test your alerts, click the Emulate icon with the bell in the bottom left, then select what kind of alert you want to emulate. Let's try a tip event of $10. Click it once, and boom! you'll get an example of what your overlay will look and sound like. And if this Preview Live on Stream box is checked, you can also preview your alerts right inside the streaming client where you added the browser source. The overlay editor has a ton of features and will absolutely be getting its own dedicated video, but here's a couple of quick features that you might want to try right now. If you want to change the location of your alert box, just click on the box in your editor, drag it to a new location, and click Save. It will automatically update in your browser source, which you can see by emulating an event. If you click the alert box and then click settings, you can choose which types of alerts you'd like your box to activate for. For example, maybe you're getting a ton of followers and you don't want it going off all the time, which honestly is a pretty nice problem to have, you can turn off those alerts by clicking this checkbox. 
If you want to go into advanced settings for an alert, click the gear icon. Here you can change things like the video for your alerts, your sound and sound volume, and how long you want the alert to remain on your screen. You can also go into variation settings if you want to set up different alerts for specific situations, such as a different sound or video that plays for a tip of a different size. And a final starter setting that I recommend is this one, TTS settings or text to speech. By checking this box, you can make it so that a voice automatically reads your incoming events and tip messages. This can be helpful if you're streaming something active where it's hard to read, or it can encourage your viewers to tip just to share a funny message. This is the best tutorial I have ever watched. If you get the hang of the alert box, feel free to experiment with the themes gallery if you want to jump into something even more involved. These overlays work the same as an alert box, but add more graphics and widgets as a full overlay scene that you can copy over. Everything that you decide to try is saved into My Overlays. If you feel like you have too many, click the star to favorite ones that you really like to pin them to the top, or just click the three dots and then delete to clean things up. Now, like I said, if you're streaming, there's a really high chance that you're already using OBS Studio. And with Stream Elements, we can make OBS Studio even better without adding to your CPU usage. Let's plug in to SE Live. Now, if you're not following along with the Streaming Glory startup bar, you can find SE Live from the root streamelements.com right here under the Features bar. From here, you can download the launcher and get started. Just as a reminder, SE Live is a plugin for regular OBS Studio, which means that it just installs over the top of a regular OBS Studio client. You can use it whether you've never used OBS before, or if you already have an installation of OBS on your computer. The next time you boot OBS, you'll have the option to log in to connect your Stream Elements info inside of OBS. You can also add bot and tipping functionality here if you haven't already, but as you can see, we're already set. SE Live is extremely lightweight, letting you add custom elements right inside of OBS without adding extra workload on your CPU. The big thing that it adds are docs so that you can easily see your chat and support event activity feed, all without needing separate browser windows while you stream. You can easily drag the docs around, rearrange them, and resize them to make a custom workflow that works best for you. You can also close windows that you don't want to use, but if you ever want to add them back, you can do so in the new Stream Elements tab under SE Live Docs. You can also use the Stream Elements menu for a few more features, such as the Cloud Backup feature, which makes it easy to save your streaming layouts and content, and then re-import everything on a new machine if needed. SE Live adds just the essential features that a streamer needs to make content more streamlined, but you'll quickly find that all those little features are a huge help. And speaking of help, sometimes you need a little extra guidance in getting all your stuff together. I get it. Streaming is intimidating, there's a lot of different moving pieces, and they don't always fit together the way that you had hoped. If you're working with Stream Elements, here's a list of resources that you can go to to get help right away. From the StreamElements.com website, I highly recommend checking out the Learn section at the top. In particular, the Get Support section should help answer a ton of your questions, with a knowledge base full of tutorials and images for all of our products and services. If you have a detailed question or encounter any unusual bugs, you can file a support ticket by clicking the Help Center icon in the bottom left corner of this screen. If you want to talk with a huge community of other streamers and SE staff, I highly recommend joining our community Discord. You can find the link to that here in the Learn section, or by going to the simple URL discord.gg se. We have thousands of members, and it's the perfect place to get updates on our newest features, work with our legendary customer service team, and grow alongside other streamers from all walks of life. And if you prefer these videos as your way to learn more about Stream Elements, well, don't you worry. We've got a lot more in-depth guides and advanced tutorials coming on this channel soon. To make sure that you're up to date and can see them right when they come out, be sure to click subscribe and also turn on that alert bell so that you can get the newest updates with our newest features right as they're released. But before we go, I've got one last surprise I want to share with you guys. We're working on new setup tools for content creators on YouTube with non-live uploaded video content. It's a whole new planet for us, and it's called Mercury. We're working on all kinds of new YouTube features that you can try right now, from dynamically changing descriptions, new thumbnail tools, and shout-out asset generators. 
We'll be sure to talk about Mercury in the future, but if you want to start trying our new YouTube tools right now, you can find them under the Features section of the main website or at mercury.streamelements.com. We're technically on YouTube right now, so hey, let's try it! We're currently at about 141,000 subscribers, and let's see if we can start working our way up to the new goal, 150,000. As we grow, you should see a live progress bar that fills up in the description every single time you refresh this video. And if you're the newest subscriber to help us build that total, you can see your name featured live right below it. The world of content creation is bigger, crazier, and better than ever, and we love being able to bring you tools to help you reach new heights. Thank you for watching today's tutorial, and we'll see you next mission with future videos.